Ole Miss at LSU in Baton Rouge. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. I am so excited about this. LSU is a two and a half point favorite as it sits currently, total is 67 and a half over at Bet US, 3 30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. And let's pull up the numbers. This thing opened around a pick 'em, maybe Ole Miss by one, LSU by one, whatever it was. My number's right on it. Ole Miss minus 0.57 points. So no real lean here. Uh, the fact that it's out to LSU minus two and a half, uh, that would say that I would need to take Ole Miss here. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Uh, Ole Miss strength of schedule is number 111 in the country. Uh, LSU number 30. You start looking at some of these numbers here, and certainly it it points towards uh, both of these teams just being pretty good. The LSU defense, not great, uh, but they're they're decent enough. They're number 42 in stuff rate. Ole Miss is number 69 in stuff rate. Here's what Ole Miss does, though. Ole Miss runs more on the outside. They hit the perimeter. So even if you are good at defensive line, uh, defensive tackle, etc., they're not going to do a lot of running between the tackles. They find ways to get to the outside and use their speed with Judkins and uh, Zach Evans and whatnot. And, and even Jackson Dart, to be completely honest. Uh, offensive line yards allowed. LSU is number 32. Uh, Ole Miss is number 28. And the issue here, number 72 PPA per rush for LSU's defense versus number 7 for Ole Miss's offense. Ole Miss could certainly find a way to take advantage of them here. Um, I, I don't... I don't know how much I love the matchup because I've seen Ole Miss not be able to run in certain spots, right? That's what's crazy is in some cases, they're just not able to get a lot done. Uh, You look at LSU's offense. They're number eight in PPA per rush, and Ole Miss is number 29. Now, and that's Ole Miss's defense. Uh, Rushing success rate, LSU is better their offense versus Ole Miss's defense. The offensive line yards and the stuff rate. LSU is a team that can run between the tackles. Now, a lot of their stuff gets done with Jaden Daniels, uh, you know, scampering around, finding ways to uh, to move the football. Uh, they're number 13 in rushing explosiveness. They are number 15 in offensive line yards. They're number 34 in stuff rate allowed. Uh, Ole Miss's defense can't really keep up with any of that. So I think you're going to see a ton of, well, one, running the football. But I think you're going to see some long drives from both of these teams because I don't believe that either of them is going to be super explosive here. Uh, Ole Miss likes to be explosive on the ground. Well, LSU's defense is number 53 in that metric. Uh, They're not, you know, they don't allow it. Uh, As far as field position, that certainly leans Ole Miss's way here. I don't know if that has to do with the strength of schedule or if it is just the special teams blunders by LSU. Uh, Turnover margin. I mean, equal. Both are number 63 here. Uh, LSU does a better job of not giving the ball up, but Ole Miss does a better job of taking the ball away. So that's one thing. Uh, Ole Miss better as far as penalties per game. LSU is number 76, and Ole Miss number 38. Uh, When it comes down to it, I think home field is going to matter. By the time this game is done, it will be Saturday night in Death Valley. I'm going to take LSU to cover the 2.5 and and end Ole Miss's unbeaten streak. Uh, I think... I just think that this is one of those games where LSU's home field really helps them out. I mean, we saw it against Mississippi State. I think we'll probably see it here as well. Uh, This this is a prime spot for LSU to be able to pick off um, Ole Miss here. So so give me me them Tigers to cover two and a half 